Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight was one of my favorite slashers of last year, and I was pleased as punch to see a sequel was quietly released on Netflix at the end of this October, just in time for Halloween. Let's see if the sequel, appropriately titled Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight 2, is worth the trip. Or maybe it should have been called Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Today. Or Nobody Else Sleeps in the Woods Tonight? Or or how about if you're thinking of sleeping in the woods tonight, don't. Just don't do it. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight 2, a.k.a. Wu Leslie Zenus Ni Zazni Nikt 2, is new on Netflix. It's directed by Bartosz M. Kowalski and written by Bartosz M. Kowalski and Muriela Zaradikowicz. Taking place the morning after the massacre that ended the first film, Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight 2 keeps the wacky story of a meteor, a dense Polish forest, and a pair of demented, deformed twins rolling along. The lone survivor, Vanessa, played by Zofia Wiklaz, returns, along with the deformed twins who seem to have met their fate in the last film. Turns out they didn't. The twins are alive, in one piece, and still all warty, sitting in a cell waiting for a special forces team to come and retrieve them. Because last film's carnage was so nuts, the small police force, consisting of three officers, apparently, are holding Vanessa for questioning as well. But this sequel introduces us to a new protagonist, Adam, played by Mateusz Wyglawik, Poland's answer to Pete Davidson. He's a clumsy and unconfident Barney Five type. Adam dreams of being a super cop, saving his fellow officer and stone-cold hottie Zosia, played by Julia Wienjawa Narkiewicz, from fiendish vampire socialites in a Matrix-style opening sequence. But Adam can barely talk to anyone without stuttering and pissing himself. When the sheriff inexplicably decides to bring Vanessa back to the scene of the crime, this causes a series of events which unleashes a whole new crop of indestructible monsters. The filmmakers behind the original Nobody Sleeps in the Woods tonight did their homework. They're treading down well-worn paths traveled by many hiking hopefuls in slasher films from the 80s, but offering up an ironic and comedic spin at every turn that not only subverted expectations, but also proved to be entertaining, creative, and still downright scary and gory. If you like the first film, you're in for a treat, as this sequel brings much of the same, and it should, since the director and writers have returned. Being a sequel, this one has to go bigger, and Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight too surely does. Not only does it continue the story of Vanessa and the twins, upping the ante on all of the horrors by keeping a lot of the slasher concepts, but it also evolves this into more of a creature feature than a straight-up stock and slash. There still is quite the body count with creative deaths, but this sequel zooms in a bit closer and offers up the viewpoint of the monsters mutated by the meteor the twins found in the flashback in the original. So while a lot of the horror is the same, it still feels fresh and new because we're experiencing it through the eyes of the antagonist instead of a bunch of clueless kids in the woods. This means that the seemingly mindless and characterless twin monsters of the first are given much more depth here. We get to know what it is like to be a creature mutated by a rock that fell from the sky. This is still a down-to-earth film. There's no interstellar explanation as to what the meteor really is or where it's from, but the story is expanded to see things from an uncommon viewpoint. So while the original Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight offers up a gratuitous and melodramatic lovemaking sequence, expect another one in this sequel. But it's the monsters who end up doing the horizontal hokey pokey instead. And that's a showstopper of a scene, and had me bursting with giggles and guffaws. Nobody Sleeps 2 delivers quite a few memorable scenes, from the aforementioned vampire battle opener and slimy sex scene to some truly gory and inventive kills done in ways you haven't seen before. Yes, much of the movie is played for laughs, but I think I laughed harder in this one than I did the first one. 
But even though there's a snarky and wry wit to everything, there still manages to be some tender moments, as well as some ones of pure horror. The gore here is tops, with guts and sinew tossed in all directions. The monster effects are amazing as well, as they're covered with blisters, pustules, and sores that look painful and about to pop. While they look menacing, because they have a personality in this POV shifting sequel, it makes them much more human and relatable. Feeling like a soulmate to Dead Snow and its balls-out maniacal sequel, Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight only improves on the lore of the original. It shoots higher and braver. It still feels like you could watch both films and enjoy one great tale. Sure, in order to push the plot along, some leaps in logic are made. But all of the actors involved do a great job of conveying everything from sheer terror to utter sympathy and hysterical lunacy. The comedic timing is fantastic, immersing the viewer into a scene so batshit that you can't do anything but laugh at how wild it all is. Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight 2 ends with the possibility of a third installment, and I'm all for it. Whether he does make a sequel or something else entirely, filmmaker Bartos M. Kowalski makes wild and raucous horror cinema. Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight 1 and 2 seem to have been made by people who grew up loving the same slasher films we all did, and better yet, offers up modern takes on the tired genre that are unforgettably entertaining. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. Stuck inside your reality You're doomed Oh, you're doomed You're i